since you've brought me enough Goofy Goober tokens, you may now use the... Time to spin? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! You'd better get going, Patrick. There's lots to do. There you are, Patrick. I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's 8 in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, 8 o'clock. I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh, Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter Mindy provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror, through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your turn. Drive the paddy wagon through the King's Bottom to the end of town.
will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty! With cheese! and now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving challenge. With the chaos of Bikini Bottom behind us, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket, and with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals, who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. They should have listened. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. 